driving me mad. You're far too temperamental. You must control yourself. Turn it off! I will. Now look what you've done. You ruined the record. Good job, too. You disagreeable pig. Amanda, darling, solace. Solace yourself! You spiteful little beast! Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. Oh! I didn't mean it. Oh! I'm sorry, darling. I, I swear I didn't mean it. You. I hate you. Amanda, darling, listen, listen. Listen, listen, indeed. I'm sick and tired of listening to you, you damn sadistic bully. No! Thank you. Oh, a pretty display, I must say. <laughs> Stop laughing like Very that! Very amusing indeed! Stop! 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 <laughs> I hate you, do you hear? I hate you. You're conceited and overbearing and utterly, utterly You're a vile-tempered, so... evil-minded little vampire and I hope I never see you again as long as I live! This is the end, you understand? The end. Finally and forever. You're not going like that. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. I am. Let go of me. You're a cruel fiend and I hate you. With you. Oh, I again realize in time what you're really Shut up! Marry you! Shut again. up! Never, never, I'll never! Marry you again if you get crawling on your bended knees! Ow! You're an evil minded little vampire! Beast. I hope I never see you again as long as you lived! Swine! Beast! Oh! Oh! You're a cad! Ça, ces idiots, ils ont tout fichu par terre pour que je casse le nez. Oh, ces espèces d'imbéciles. Oh là là, vraiment. Oh, ils savent bien que je suis pas bien. Hein. Ça, là, regardez. Bordel, partout. Achoo oh, et puis regardez-moi ce cachis. Ah bah, si les patrons s'amusent à casser leur mobilier, <rire> bah, moi, je m'en fiche, hein. C'est comme de ma première lignette. Alors là. Oh là là. Oh. Oh dieu. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. Oh, bonjour. Oh, Qu'est-ce que vous faites ici Bonjour. Bonjour. Wait a moment. Attendez un instant. Oh, dear! What? What's happening? Oh, bonjour, monsieur. Oh. Bonjour. What time is it? Eh, monsieur? Quelle heure est-il, s'il vous plaît? Il est 9 h dix, madame. What did she say? I think she said nearly 10 o'clock. Oh. Uh, Voulez-vous... Wake, reveille, monsieur et madame, tout de suite. I don't know, monsieur. Il m'est absolument défendu de les réveiller jusqu'à qu'il me seul. Oh, les idiots. What are we to do? Wake them ourselves. No, no, wait a minute. What's the matter? I couldn't face them yet. Really, I couldn't. I feel dreadful. So do I. It's a lovely morning. Lovely. I say, don't cry. I can't help it. Oh, please, don't, please. It's all so squalid. I wish we hadn't stayed. What's the use? Well, we, we must see them before we go to England. We must get things straightened out. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I wish I were dead. Uh, well, hush now, hush. Remember your promise. We're in this together and we must get things settled one way or another. I'll try to control myself. Only I'm so, so tired. I haven't slept properly for ages. Neither have I. If we hadn't arrived when we did, they'd have killed one another. They must have been drunk. She hit him. 
Well, he hit her, too. I'd no idea anybody ever behaved like that. It's so disgusting, so degrading. Ellie, of all people, oh, dear. What an escape you've had. What an escape we've both had. Yeah. Well, good morning. Oh, Amanda. Will you please move this? I can't get out. Where are you going? Away. You can't. Why not? I want to speak to you. What on earth is the use of air? I must speak to you. Well, all I can say is it's very inconsiderate. Mandy, I... I suppose you're civil. How do you do? Well, if you're going to take up that attitude, I suppose you'll see the reason for your coming here at all. I came to see Elliot. I've no wish to prevent you. He's in there. Probably wallowing in an alcoholic stupor. Amanda, this is all very unpleasant. I quite agree. That's why I want to go away. That would be shirking. This must be discussed at length. Very well, if you insist. Only not just at the moment. I don't feel up to it. Has Louise come yet? If Louise is the maid, she's still there. Oh, thank you. You'd probably like some coffee. Excuse me a minute. Well, how dare she? How dare she what? To behave so calmly as though nothing had happened. Well, I don't see what else she could have done. The insufferable, I call it. Oh, God. Idiot! Elliot! Elliot! Go away! Do it! Do it! Pull yourself together for heaven's sake! I can't! I can't! Pour it some coffee and rose. They'll be here soon. Must apologize for this room being so untidy. Stop crying. It doesn't do any good. Jenny, where are you going? Canada. You can't leave like this. You can't. Well, I see no point in staying. You were it's a symbol to stay. Oh, how do you do? I don't think we've met before. You must stay. You've got to stay. Oh, very well, if you insist. No. I'm afraid the room isn't rather a mess. Have you seen the maid, Louise? She's in the kitchen. Good. I'll order some coffee. No, you're... Uh, my... Uh, Amanda's already ordered it. I'm glad the old girl's out and about. Now, look here. We've got to get things straightened out, you yes, know. Yes, it's pretty awful. We'll get the concierge up from downstairs. You're being purposely flippant, but it's no good. Sorry. What's to be done? I don't know. It's all perfectly horrible. I feel smirched and unclean, as though slimy things had been crawling all over me. Well, maybe they have. That's a very old sofa. If you don't stop your damn flippancy, I'll knock your head off. Has it struck you that my flippancy might cover a very real embarrassment? Well, in a situation such as this, it's in extremely bad taste. No worse than bluster and invective. As far as I know, this situation is entirely without precedent. We have no prescribed etiquette to fall back upon. I shall continue to be flippant. Oh, Elliot, how can you? How can you? I'm awfully sorry, sir. It's easy enough to be sorry. On the contrary, I find it exceedingly difficult. I seldom regret anything. This is a very rare and notable exception. Sort of red-letter day, we must all make the most of it. I'll never forgive you, never. I wouldn't have believed anybody could be so callous and cruel. I absolutely see your point, as I said before. I'm sorry. No, it's look, absolutely here. Impossible. Chase. What? Breakfast not ready yet. Really, these French servants are too slow for words. It's a glorious morning. I do love Paris. So genuinely gay. All those lovely trees in the Champs Elysees. There's little roundabouts for the children to play on, and those shiny red taxis. You can see Sacre Coeur quite clearly today. Sometimes it's a bit misty, particularly in August. All the heat rising up from the pavements, you know. Yes, dear, we know. And it's heavenly being so high up. I found this flat three years ago, quite by merest chance. I happened to be staying at the Plaza Athene, just down the road. Such a nice hotel with the most enchanting courtyard, with a fountain that goes plop, 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 plop. Amanda, this is ridiculous. Plop, 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 plop. I refuse to discuss anything in the least important until after breakfast. Plop. I couldn't concentrate now. I know I couldn't. What manner, what poise, how I envy it. To be able to carry off the most embarrassing situation with such tact and delicacy, and above all, such subtlety. Do go on, Amanda. You're making everything so much easier. We shall all be playing Hunt the Slipper in a minute. 